This is a new set which has come to me. This is a Philips Diamond Valve record player. This record player actually works with the valve technology. This is a tone arm. This is a cartridge. And uh, this is a platter. And there are, if you can see, there are four speeds 78, 45, 33, and 16 RPM. So this has come to me for the repairing and restoration. It is having a volume control, bus control, treble control. Now the client told me that it has uh, some audio issues uh, with this set. So I have to check it out. What are the issues and uh, how I could be able to restore those. This is the inside of this platter. There are two fuses. If you see it, uh, spe specifically, you can see that the fuses are actually gone. It has been attached with an external wire. So I have to check on those because if I keep it like that, then there is no use of the fuse. It won't be blown out and it actually might damage the set inside electronics. So you have to figure it out and I have to pick the correct fuse of correct value and this is a mechanism this is a rubber pulley this is a metal uh, pulley and there is a switch you can see and the model number i can see it is ag4856w00 this is the inside picture of this record player you can see this is the main transformer uh, this is a motor ac motor and uh, this is I believe the rectifier, rectifier valve and this is the preamplifier and the power amplifier valve I need to check what are the values of those and this is I believe the filter capacitors so these are very old I don't think they, this capacitor is working well I might need to replace it with another one and I have to check all the components also whether they are working fine or not so first of all i have to disassemble this unit once i disassemble this unit it will actually attached with this power transformer and this is the output transformer so this will come out as well with this whole thing now you can see actually the condition of this circuit there are lots of components which are actually broken you can see this one already broken you can see uh, this particular resistance the condition of this resistance is not very well so I have to replace this one also this condenser is not also in a good shape this need to be changed this is an electrolytic capacitor you can see that the dielectric already came out of this capacitor so this need to be changed so there are some other components also I, I won't be able to show you from here but I need to check all these one by one and what I will do I will also change this filter capacitor this consists of two uh, capacitor 50 microfarad and 50 microfarad 300 volt I will replace it with 47 microfarad and 47 microfarad 400 volt or 450 volt and uh, the new capacitor is not going to be a can type it will be the normal uh, electrolytic capacitor which we use in these days so there are lots of components which are not in good condition that need to be replaced one by one and i will also check the potentiometers the valve base if there is any sorts of issue with those i need to replace those also so let's check one by one and uh, try to make it working as it was earlier This is the filter capacitor uh, which was installed in the set. I have replaced it with the new one. Uh, let me show you some resistances. I didn't thought that I had to replace this, but fortunately or unfortunately, I had to do that. This is the resistance of 5.6 megs. The value becomes 10 meg. This is a 330K resistance value becomes 660 this is 220k the value becomes 800k and this is a 60 uh, 680 
this is a 680k value becomes 1 meg and this resistance is a 1.4k the value becomes more than 2k you can see the condition of this capacitor the dielectric has already came out from the inside so it's not workable anymore naturally had to replace that check this one one leg is already gone this is one capacitor i had to replace that also this is one capacitor 0 0.01 microfarad this actually connects two anodes of ucl82 but while i measured there was no capacitance i found from this capacitor so i had to replace that nothing new for these capacitors because in old sets we need to replace these also you can see these people are also these items but what i found typically new that there are multiple resistances i actually replace due to the value has gone up so what i have decided i will replace all the resistances which are in board because once i put new one and the circuit will work properly there is every chance that the resistances which are now looking okay in their values they might become uh, bad because uh, as you know that the when the electricity and the current flow in the proper manner they will be charged up and they will get uh, much more pressure so i decided to replace all the resistances from the board and uh, put the new one so that it should work in a proper manner as you can see now that uh, this particular uh, board in this particular board i have uh, replaced almost 95 percent components if you check all the resistances i have changed the reason you know very well you can see these these all are new resistances i put here at the same time i have replaced the can type filter capacitor so with uh, 47 microfarad 350 volt uh, capacitors filter caps and uh, all the pf type uh, other capacitors here i have changed now i will put the valves in this valve base and i will try to check it whether it's working a bit better or not but before that i have to do all the connections i have to connect all the connections which i have disconnected you can see now that I have actually uh, installed the circuit as it was after replacing all the necessary components including all resistors, capacitors, also the filter caps and uh, by the way I just want to inform you that this set is actually made by Philips Holland not Philips India. You can see how it looks like and the valves that uh, I just want to show you used for the this record player this one is uh, UL85 uh, sorry UY85 this is the rectifier valve and this is uh, the Philips UCL82 this is a triode and pentode so this will rectify the AC to DC and this will act as a preamplifier and the power amplifier also so now I have to fix these two valves in these two sockets here you can see it is noted here that UY85 will be fixed in this socket and UCL82 will be fixed here so I am putting these valves and after that I will test the circuit now I just want to inform you while testing the set I found as you can see this is UY85 this is the half wave rectifier valve and uh, this is UCL82 triad pentode now what is the role of this valve this valve will rectify the AC uh, to DC voltage now once I was testing by using these two valves what I found let me tell you 
that you can see that uh, this is a 9 pin novel valve what i found that it is making dc that is okay but at the same time due to uh, this uh, valve is faulty it is uh, allowing ac voltage or ac current uh, from its plate and the result uh, was that the metallic body of this uh, record player uh, was having 200 volt ac which is not acceptable at all so i had to replace that this one i found uh, this uh, this one is working it is okay but at the same time the gain was very low so i have replaced this valve also now after replacing these two valves the audio uh, became absolutely correct and good now after that i just want to show you there are some issues uh, i i actually found with this turntable with the speed let me show you of course i have corrected those while i was playing the platter what i found that it is not actually playing in correct speeds if i try to do uh, something here it sometimes attains the speed but if i put any record or the arm over it it becomes low what was actually happening let me tell you as you can see this mechanism this motor is actually uh, installed with three springs so that it can float now due to the age the spring tension was very less and it was floating a lot so what i did i have tightened the screws so that the spring tension should be a bit high and it should not float so much at the same time this is a spindle which actually uh, keeping this rubber pulley now the issue was that the alignment of this spindle was wrong it was a bit downward so what was happening when the pulley touching the spindle it was not actually touching the actual points it was touching in between uh, the two uh, rpm uh, uh, space so that is why uh, the rpm was not uh, working in a good manner so what i have done i have uh, just uh, calibrated this one after that i had uh, found that it is it's attaining the speed so let me show you i am giving power to it you can see the light is glowing and i have put this switch in 16 rpm position you can see that so the platter is moving in 16 rpm now i'm changing it to 33 you can see the change in the speed now i am changing it to 45 rpm this is 45 rpm now i'm changing it to 78 rpm this is the 78 rpm so now the platter is moving in correct speed again going down 45 33 16 16 rpm we do not need in these days however it's working fine now it's the final test of record playing so I will do it after I put the back cover before delivery I will show it how it's playing now you can see the set is completely okay it is ready I can deliver it now now it's a music test This is a Bengali record. So this is the video of restoring this set. I believe that all you learned a bit from this video and uh, hopefully you enjoyed also i also enjoyed much storing this set 
and uh, we will see you later with a new set thank you take care